guys and welcome to vlogmas day five so i just now started my vlog because I was gonna start in the mornings. I like to film my entire day, not just like at nighttime, because I think that's more interesting. But we got our heater fixed today in our living room, and the men just left. And it honestly was so awkward filming with them here. I mean, I, I tried like once, and I think they thought I was talking to Snapchat or something. So yeah, that's what happens when you live in a two bedroom apartment and can't escape any workers or anything like that. Um, but this is what our new heater looks like. If you guys have been watching us for a long time, our old one never worked. We never had heating. We still don't have air conditioning because we live near the beach and don't need it. But um, it was ugly and it was janky. So they put a brand new white and black one, which I'm sure we will never use. And the only reason I really got our heater fixed in our bedroom and our living room is because my mom is like, you need a heater, you know, with your new baby. So Oh, I just realized the heating men brought in all these packages for me. I thought this was theirs and I was like, what is this? And he was like, I don't know, a FedEx man like brought it in or whatever. So I realized this is my glider, which means I can put up my nursery tour finally because I've been waiting for that stupid glider forever. Um, and there's like a huge empty space in the nursery and I wasn't going to film like the nursery tour without the chair there. But yeah, so I'm excited and when Doug comes home, he's going to have to help me set that up and everything like that but all day I've just been working on my computer in my bedroom it's been super boring nothing vloggable anyways this jacket does not fit me it like goes up to here so whatever we're just gonna ignore that okay so the first one I got is from juice beauty Let's, I never unbox packages on camera tell me if it annoys you guys because I won't do it if it annoys you um, I don't really have a like a preference about it like when other youtubers do like PO unboxings or just like unboxing packages like I'll watch it but it's not like I like it or dislike it so let me know if it bothers you and I feel like people always preface this by saying I'm not bragging blah blah but I feel like you shouldn't have to preface it because this is your job so I don't know depending on what career you have you get a lot of stuff so this is just part of that kind of thing so anyways this is their blemish clearing cleanser intriguing i've never tried anything from juice beauty and then so this is their satin lip cream in the color blush this is totally like exactly the color i wear like a mauve nude color what else and then they sent phyto pigments illuminating primer whoa I'm, i like rarely use primers because my skin is so oily. But now that it's like the winter, I feel like I could use them. Ooh, this is nice. This is their Last Looks Cream Blush in the color Peony. Maybe I'll like put them on and then show you guys what they look like in tomorrow's vlog. This is my favorite blush color of life. I love mauve blushes. You guys always ask me, I'm not even wearing the one I normally wear today, but you guys ask me every time I wear this certain blush, you're like, what is that? I like your blush. It's Milani. Um, what is that it's it's a milani baked blush in the color desert rose best blush of life and this reminds me of that one but it's matte which i like and then they sent me an exfoliating peel spray whatever that means um luminous lip crayon what is this i'm never really a fan of lip crayons because i feel like they don't stay on very much but i like this color it's like a mauve color this is the lip crayon ignore my janky fingernails and this is the swatch and then here's their satin cream blush i like this one a lot and then they sent me a green apple peel and more cleansing serum this is a lot of stuff this is from jenny penny designs on etsy oh my god etsy does the cutest wrap jobs i swear so cute she says Haley, congratulations i hope you and your little girl enjoy your new jenny penny items thanks for collaborating so this i am so pumped for this is a car seat cover and i'm gonna put it on my car seat and show you guys in better detail but this pattern is so cute oh there's two patterns so on the back it's like gold um it's like metallic gold and black and this is the um the front one it's like roses so cute very feminine it goes with her name which you guys will find out soon 
Um, and oh my god, it's a little bib with tassels. I've never seen um, one of these bibs with like pom pom tassels on it. This is so cute. I'll definitely have to only put this on her when she's an infant or else she might eat these things. Um, but I think it should be fine if I'm watching her. Super cute. And then this is from Nip and Fab. They just sent me their Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads, which Doug actually uses their um, pads for his face and his face has cleared up so much because he struggles with cystic acne, it's terrible. Um, and this is Viper Venom Micro Blur Fix. It's a one-step instant selfie perfecter to prime, mattify, I like those two things, priming and mattifying with a flawless finish, flawless finish, can't talk today. Anything that says matte, I'm like, heck yeah. Let's see how matte you really are. Okay, so it's like a primer. Whoa, it smells really good. I'm gonna have to try this out. And then the other two things, this is their Bust Fix. And then this is their Body Sculpting Gel. I don't know what that means. Okay, so it's a few hours later. Well, no, I don't know why I said that. It's one hour later from when I vlogged last and I'm gonna start dinner. And I just feel like I'm under so much pressure now that my mom watches my vlogs. Mom, if you're watching, I know you are. We're having salmon tonight and vegetables and probably rice. I basically just got off the phone with my mom and I was like, mom, you cannot watch one vlog and think you know what I eat um, on an everyday basis. But anyways, so yeah, we're gonna have salmon for dinner. And last time, normally I put the salmon in the oven it just does not taste as good as when I pan fry it. So I'm gonna pan fry it this time. And what am I doing? Oh yeah, gotta get the rice out. I never did a what I got for my baby shower haul only because, I don't know, it would literally just be the longest video ever. I don't even know where I would start with the gifts. There's so many. So I think you guys are just gonna see them over time. But I got this little thing from a friend and you basically, it's like a mesh material and you put like, I don't even know how you open this thing. You open it up and then you put, I think like pureed fruit or something like that. And then when they aren't eating yet, they like teeth on it. So yeah, I'm interested in this. I haven't heard anything about this little device, but it sounds like a good idea. Tonight, I really wanted to dye my hair. You guys never see my natural hair because it's stupid and it's thin. The number one comment I get in like my sit down videos is, you have such amazing hair. And I'm just like, you have no idea. The beauty of extensions, everyone needs them. Not everybody, but yeah, this is my natural hair. It's like recovering. I don't know if you guys have watched my channel for a while. I decided to go blonde right before my honeymoon like an idiot. I do it like once a year. I drastically change my hair once a year and then it just can never recuperate. Um, so yeah, basically my hair, after you bleach it, it wants to go back blonde because you strip the pigment from it. So it basically turns like a green color and yeah, so my roots are like my natural color, which is dark brown and my ends are like this funny, I mean the sun looks kind of weird, but they're like this funny looking color. So I want to dye it and you guys always ask me, it's nothing special. You'll see, I'm, I'm going to use a box dye. And I know I'm gonna get comments like, you shouldn't be dyeing your hair when you're pregnant. Well, my doctor said it was fine. So that's that. Um, and honestly, I only dye the ends of it. I don't touch my scalp. But also something I wanted to show you guys is I'm going to cut extensions and I wanna show you how I put them in because I get that question a lot too. And extensions are a fickle thing if you want them to look like your real hair, which I feel like I finally mastered it as much as I can. Um, I used to wear extensions for years and they would just look so fake and so tacky um, until I got down a method that basically just makes it look like your natural hair. It also helps if your hair is one color, if you wanna look like you have thick hair and if you don't want people to know you're wearing extensions. I don't really care, people know, like I tell you guys all the time, but you know, some people don't really want it to be obvious, which I totally get. So yeah, I'm gonna have Doug cut my extensions. He doesn't know it yet, he gets so nervous because he thinks he's cutting my real hair and I'm like, you can mess up, it's okay. But basically my natural hair is growing longer than my Irresistible Me extensions that I usually wear. So I'm gonna go back to Foxy Locks just because I have a fresh set and I want my hair to be a little bit longer. I want it to be like down to here um, just because I think I look better with a little bit longer of a haircut. So Doug's on his way home and he seriously never comes home early so this is crazy but I'm so excited. I never really share with you guys about like 
sponsorships or talking about making money on YouTube because I feel like it's a little taboo. Um, although I'm open with you guys in every other aspect and you can obviously tell us something sponsored so I don't know why I wouldn't be open about it. And I want to be, like I always say, as transparent as I can. Um, this one isn't that exciting for you guys but for me it is. Basically every time I get to work with a brand that I've actually purchased their stuff before and I'm like a big supporter of, I get so excited. So Minton.com, and this is not sponsored but I'm just talking to you guys. Um, Minton Minton.com is like a invitation website. They do like save the dates. If you guys have been following my wedding series, they did my save the dates and my wedding invites. And I'm like obsessed with all of their designs. But basically they want to work with me for a birth announcement, which I'm so excited for. So I just picked one out. It's so cute. Um, but if you're having a baby and you want to do a birth announcement, I would check them out. I got the one. Well, I pre-ordered it, obviously. I have to have the baby first before I can announce anything. But I'm picking the one out that says like once upon a time on it at the top and it's like foiled and embossed. It's so cute. So I'm just so excited. Also, um, I'm going to take like baby pictures when she comes and I'm going to use this basket. You guys have seen it in my living room. Actually, let me turn on my Christmas lights. Literally right below my tree. Can't see anything. There we go. But I took pictures of my sister's second baby in this little basket and they turned out so good like infant newborn pictures. But you can get these woven baskets from Home Goods, and I know there's magazines in it, but I basically like shove a pillow down there and then put a really nice blanket on top. And I took her uh, newborn photos, or he was like, yeah, I think he was a newborn. So I'm gonna do that for our baby too, and then use that picture for the birth announcement. So I'm cooking salmon, and I decided to put corn on it because I love sweet corn. But honestly, every time I put it in Doug's tuna fish sandwiches, I really like it like that, but he's always like, why is there corn here? So I just wonder what he's gonna say about our dinner tonight. So this is our complete dinner. What was the first thing you said when you saw the meal? Why is there corn on that sandwich? <laughs> Here's your new Fudikake. Doug got a new flavor. Mm. What flavor is it? I can't read Japanese. It's Seto Fumi Fudikake. If you guys don't know what that is, it's rice seasoning and he puts it on all of his rice. It looks like dried seaweed and... Dried fish. That, that smells disgusting. No, that smells way worse than your last one. So my last one was just seaweed flavored. Are you gonna or like this? Wasabi flavored. Are you gonna like this flavored. one? Let's try it. Mmm, that's bomb. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Just take a little right off the top. It smells like... I mean, I like fish and You're seaweed. not even grabbing the fish part, though. I don't really want okay, the there you fish go. part. It's not as bad as I thought. It's real salty. Completed. What the hell? It was a lot of rice. You are honestly a traitor. You gave me so much rice. I gave you what I normally give you. I don't know what happened, but ever since I hit my third trimester, it's almost like I'm sucking the hunger from Doug. Mm -hmm. He's like, I'm so full, and I'm like, don't even give me. Uh, I wasn't completely honest. I ate more. You ate Twix at work? No. What'd you eat? Two crunches, one Twizzler, one Baby Ruth, a small bag of Pirate's Booty, and a small bag of Lay's. Why are you eating so many snacks at work? I got real hungry, I told you. Okay, and someone's gonna be like, you don't feed him enough. I fed him a big old sub sandwich thing and chips. Mm -hmm. It was good. And he went back to work and he ate all that candy? I ate it at like 3.50. Doesn't matter, this is not the Doug I know. You'd finish all your rice and all your salmon normally. Look at my face. It's so chunky. Look, he doesn't, he doesn't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I edit my vlogs, I'm like, oh my gosh. You're not even chunky. No, I am. Look at these cheeks. Not... I used to have like defined cheekbones. Yeah, now look at but them. You're pregnant. You can see all that fat. I just want to squeeze them. Whatever. You know what is, you know what the time is? It better be the time for you. What? You know what time it is. Cereal time? Second dinner time? <laughs> Second dinner time! You're not even gonna eat it. Nope. You're not gonna have cereal with me? I just need to hydrate, I think is what it is. Yeah, drink some water and then prep up for the cereal. There's way too much lemon in the bottom of this. Why is there so much lemon? I honestly cannot have water without lemon anymore. So I just go squirt, squirt like three times. 
It's like each squirt is like one and a half lemons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need your help tonight. It has nothing to do with the hospital bag. Oh. I need you to help me dye my hair. No, no. No, I could do that myself. Oh, thank God. I hate dyeing your hair. He did it once and he totally sucked. He missed like patches of my hair. Ugh. I need your... It was just as bad as you trying to cut my hair. Oh my God. I'm never doing that again. <laughs> um, I need your help cutting my extensions. But if you mess up, it's fake hair, so it's all right. Okay. But I honestly tried to cut my last extensions while they're on my head, and they're all jagged. Can I just hold them, and then you can cut them? Um, no. What? They have to be on my head. Because I tried that last time, and it sucked. They have to be on your head. Mm-hmm. He's pouring me some vanilla almond crunch, and someone said that you need to get into it because it's that good. But this time at the store, we got... Doug got Cocoa Krispies. Hell yeah. Which is like a staple in our household mm -hmm. for the past, like, month. well, forever, but we've been eating it a lot. Okay, so now we're gonna watch the newest episode of Westworld. Real excited. It's the last episode mm -hmm. of the season. It's the last episode of the season. We're not gonna ruin it. We're not like that. We're not evil. Um, but you guys have to watch this show if you haven't. It's this about. This is my usual position right now. <laughs> it's about robots. It's so good. This is a sweet, sweet apple. Fuji apples, the best. They know it's Fuji. It's the only kind you need to eat. It just leaked everywhere. <laughs> so Doug is unwrapping our glider. What are you doing? Get off of that. I feel like Doug for sure is going to use the glider more than I am. Oh, that's a nice new heater. Yeah, Doug didn't even see that. Nope. For like an hour. So we're about to cut my extensions. And this is what they look like. So the lighting makes my hair look really dark, but it's actually much lighter than these extensions. So I'm probably going to dye them tomorrow and show you guys. Or dye my hair tomorrow. Um, I don't really dye extensions because... I don't want to get into that just in case I mess them up and then you're kind of screwed. Uh, but these are the Foxy Locks extensions. I'll link them below. I think they're in the color chocolate brown, but I will look it up for you guys. And if you're wondering, this is Doug's bathroom. It's much nicer than mine. Um, but basically what I like to do is clip two tracks together for Foxy Locks because they're not as thick as the Irresistible Me extensions. And I find that like the thicker you make your hair, well not, it can't be crazy thick, but if it's a good thickness, then they look more natural and they look less straggly, especially on the bottom. Have you guys on top of a candle. Um, but the place I like to wear my extensions is like an inch and a half above my ear because it's so comfortable right there. I used to have them like lining my head and then I would just want to take them out so bad and I would hate wearing them, but this makes it really comfortable. So I just realized that um, that I cut one track but not the other so this makes it a lot easier so I'm just cutting them to the equal length so I thought I would end the vlog because I realized it's really long today um, and I wanted to do the comment of the day so this one's from Leanne Dawn she says I like watching you guys because you guys are more real and not fake youtubers well I kind of know what you mean but yeah, um, she says, P.S. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and hopefully I can be in comment of the day next vlog. <laughs> and then she says, um, and also I wouldn't mind getting eyelash extensions, but does it hurt or anything? No, it does not hurt. I'm getting them on Saturday or Sunday, so I'm going to try and vlog it if my eyelash extension lady lets me. I'm sure she will. Um, so you guys can like see her putting them on. It's honestly really relaxing, and last time I fell asleep for, I think it takes like, well, for a full set, I think it took an hour and 15, and this will be just a fill, so probably like 50 minutes, so it's really, I mean, it takes a while, but I like doing that instead of getting my nails done because I probably couldn't do both because first off, it's expensive, and second off, getting your nails done and getting eyelashes 
and fake tanning your body and dyeing your hair. It just gets a lot. So um, yeah, I just like doing the eyelashes once every three to four weeks. But yeah, if you have any questions about them or if you want me to ask her any questions, leave them in the comment um, box below and I'll try and ask her. So I think that's gonna be it for today's vlog. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button below and click the like button if you like this video and I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Oh, also, I will show you how I dye my hair in tomorrow's vlog as well. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys.